What's up, Lauren family? Hope you've had another wonderful week so far and a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you had great food, great memories with families and friends, and I'm here to share our feature Friday for this week, and it is going to be carpet pad. Now you may think to yourself, carpet pad, boring, but in reality, it's actually gonna serve a lot more purposes than you think when it comes to selecting your carpet, such as cushion and comfort, um, noise reducing, as well as, of course, more of a shock absorption to any sort of high traffic areas. And lastly, a moisture barrier to prevent any sort of mold or mildew creating underneath that carpeting. Now, you may think, what kind of pad should I get with a carpeting that I'm gonna do? And here are some pointers that we can kind of think about when you're shopping for carpeting. One is if you're gonna have this diff, uh, certain thickness of carpeting, so if you're gonna have a thicker carpet, you might wanna go with a thinner pad and vice versa, just to make sure you have that amazing level of comfort underneath the foot. Two is what areas you're gonna be installing the carpeting in. If they are gonna be a higher traffic area like stairs or a hallway, you might wanna go with a more denser pad just to you know have it more longer lasting to just be able to last within those areas. And finally, you might wanna think if you've got dogs or kids or any sort of areas where you know spills are gonna happen, because we're human and it happens, you might wanna go with a pad that has a moisture barrier actually embedded on top of the padding to prevent any sort of liquids from seeping into the pad and preventing any recurring stains. So those are some quick pointers and tips and tricks that I can share with you now, but we'd be happy to help you with selecting any sort of carpeting and pad um, at our store locations in Vista, Orange County, and Solana Beach. And again, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you next week. Bye. What's up, Lauren?